an asteroid is hurtling straight toward Earth. Initially, scientists believed it would miss us entirely, but recent recalculations reveal a catastrophic error. Now, it's locked on a direct collision course with our fragile blue planet. So what happens next? This is Skywatchers HQ, and today we're diving into the terrifying scenario of an asteroid impact in 2025. At first glance, this might sound like an exciting sci-fi premise, but make no mistake, if an asteroid were to strike Earth, the consequences would be nothing short of apocalyptic. And this isn't just speculation. History tells us it's possible. Take for instance, Asteroid 99942 Apophis. Discovered in 2004, scientists closely monitored its trajectory, initially estimating a 2.7% chance of impact by 2029. Those odds have since been revised, and we now expect Apophis to pass just 30,000 kilometers from Earth, closer than some satellites. But what if those calculations are wrong? What if Apophis is on a collision course, and the impact isn't years away, but just months or even days? Let's break it down. Apophis measures 340 meters in diameter, taller than the Eiffel Tower. While that may sound massive, it's nothing compared to the 10 to 15 kilometer Chicxulub asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Still, even this so-called little brother of Chicxulub could unleash devastation unlike anything modern civilization has ever witnessed. Now that we've identified the threat, what can we do to stop it? There are a few defense strategies in play. First up, the kinetic impactor. This involves sending a spacecraft to collide with the asteroid, altering its trajectory enough to push it off course. NASA has already successfully tested this method with the DART mission, so it's a viable option. Next, there's the gravity tractor approach. A large spacecraft would hover near the asteroid, using its gravitational pull to slowly tug the rock away from its deadly path. It's a slow process, but effective given enough time. Then there's laser ablation, firing high-powered lasers to vaporize small portions of the asteroid's surface. This wouldn't destroy the asteroid outright, but it could shift its trajectory just enough to save Earth. And finally, the nuclear option, literally. A last resort would involve detonating a nuclear device near or on the asteroid. While this could potentially save the planet, it comes with a major risk. The explosion could fragment the asteroid, creating multiple smaller but still deadly projectiles. Worse still, these fragments could become radioactive, adding nuclear fallout to an already catastrophic impact scenario. But let's say we hesitate too long. Apophis is now just moments away from impact. Where will it hit, and what happens next? Most likely, the asteroid would crash into the Pacific Ocean, simply because Earth's surface is primarily water. While that might sound like the lesser of two evils, the consequences would still be catastrophic. The impact would unleash energy, equivalent to thousands of nuclear bombs, carving out a crater over a kilometer wide at the ocean floor. But the real danger? The ensuing mega-tsunami towering waves, uh, some exceeding 30 meters in height, would travel across the Pacific at jetliner speeds. Coastal cities in North and South America, including California, Peru, and Chile, would be among the first to feel the impact. Asia and Australia wouldn't be far behind. For reference, the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, which reached similar wave heights, claimed over 230,000 lives. This event, however, would be a global catastrophe, potentially affecting millions. But what if Apophis were to hit land instead? The result would be even worse. Without water to absorb the blast, the asteroid would create an immense crater, up to seven kilometers in diameter and over one kilometer deep. A fiery shockwave would spread for hundreds of kilometers, leveling cities and setting off wildfires. 
the impact would eject vast amounts of dust and debris into the atmosphere, triggering a temporary impact winter. With the sun's rays blocked, crops would fail, leading to widespread famine. The death toll? Potentially in the millions, depending on the impact site. Civilization wouldn't end, but life as we know it would be forever changed. The good news? Unlike the Chicxulub event that wiped out the dinosaurs, an Apophis-level impact wouldn't spell human extinction. It would be a global disaster of unprecedented scale. But humanity would survive, battered, scarred, but alive. So, what would happen next? How would humanity rebuild after such a catastrophe? Subscribe to Skywatchers HQ for more cosmic, scientific, and prehistoric videos.